Okay, it gives me great pleasure to have the wonderful David Rodari, uh, not only striker for Hastings, but a lover of Cristiano Ronaldo. Correct. Yes, correct. Yes. Yeah, which we will be talking about. Uh, it's Perfect. my podcast, so I want to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. It doesn't have to all be about Hastings. Um, David, it has been a good couple of years since I spoke to you. Um, I know, yes. Do you remember what who was on with you? I yep. think... He- Henry. Henry oh, Henry. Bro- oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Henry, Bro- yeah, yeah. Henry Brookshaw, who now is... He was a little lad that, uh, for the people that haven't seen that episode, it was... Uh, a lad that um, was an absolutely obsessed with uh, David and did lots of uh, like nice drawings of him and all this sort of stuff. Now <laughs> he is now about four foot taller. You know, is it? Yeah, yeah, oh. it's, yeah. And it, I'm I'm sorry, Dav. He's probably more interested in girls now than drawing pictures of. Oh. <laughs> That's um, why I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's been a been a while. So just to to kind of. Like you, you then moved on to actually when I interviewed you, I think you'd just gone to Croy. Just got, yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was just at the start. Yeah, yeah so you did Crawley, Worthing, and Dartford, Dartford, Dartford Dorking. Yeah, Dorking, yeah. oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So, <laughs> Been I mean, everywhere. yeah, what so what like because obviously, you like with us, you had a really terrible run of injuries. Um, yes. And you managed to bounce back because of that mindset you got. You, you know, you've, you've, you know, which is brilliant. Mm-hmm. How that last couple of years? Do you want to just maybe go through what, what that kind of journey? Yeah, what uh, just since I left Hastings, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, joined Crawley, signed mm. obviously a two and a half year deal, which was good. So, you know, like so if anything happened with my injuries, I at mm. least had some some sort of protections as well. Yeah. Obviously, full time club. It was it was good, but. I did expect more from it, mm. just because of the the way we kind of trained at Hastings with Aggie, because mm. it was sort of almost full time. We were training like two mornings and one evening as an as an only club, mm. and then obviously joining Crawley was every day. But like I said, the things that surprised me the most is the not so much the facilities because there's not many leagues in between, obviously National League or and and, and League Two, but it's mainly more like the training wise. Mm. What what I did, I think the most I've improved was when I was at Hastings, and then obviously yeah. since leaving, I I did improve, but not as much as I thought I would have. Okay. This could be part of me or part of the coaching, you know. It could yeah. be both, so mm. I'm not gonna just blame the coaches. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and then obviously the first six six months at Crawley were really good because I think I made I made about thirteen appearances or something mm. like that. Scored one goal, which was good as well, you know, just something to take off. Mm. my football career and uh, and then I after that it kind of went it went downhill at Crawley but obviously as a personal career I think it went uphill for me yeah. going out on loan because obviously I gained experience at National League level yeah obviously I got I, I got to experience the promotion with Dawkins you know which everyone talks about now everyone watches their YouTube channel and a bunch of amateurs uh, something that I've been part of yeah you know, what do you make of that guy? You know that manager, the manager chairman. Uh, is he? You know what people? Is he like that in real life? Oh yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, he loves a banter. He loves taking the piss to you, but mm. obviously he's kind of like he, he doesn't mean it. Like he, mm. what I like about him is that when he jokes, like he always finds the right time to joke. But then when it's time to actually do work, he like yeah. he puts his head down and stuff. And like I said, people, I think people underestimate him because. Obviously, he's got no coaching badges or anything, so they mm. might think, "Oh, he, he can't be a coach." But he's probably he could be up there with my top three coaches mm. of um as a like um what he gives you tactically and what what kind of uh, information he gives you about the other team. So he's always mm. he always he's always been right when I was there. How the other team would have scored, how they would have played and stuff. Mm. So yeah, it was good. And then I, obviously, I, uh, and then I, I joined Worthing the year after for a little bit before joining Dorking. So that was good. And then the year after, I just sort of, because the new manager coming in, I thought, you know, I'm just going to, I'm not going to waste time around. Yeah. Like I did, the, the not the first half, but the, the first proper year when I started pursuing recording, where I didn't really, I sort of just waited to see where I was going to go. Or like, you know, if I was going to be in, in around the team, obviously with injuries, that killed me a little bit. But yeah. And then the last year, because a new manager coming in, I did all pre-season and then I, I basically just said to him straight away, I said, do you want me to stay or go on loan? Mm. And obviously, 
he, he said it would have rather me to go on loan to get some games and stuff like that because obviously I, he didn't think I was ready to be in star 11 or you know mm. and so I said yeah that's fine and then last year was probably my best year I've had in football really like because obviously with Darford it was really good yeah I did leave in January for some certain reason one of them was just because I didn't like the way like I didn't think he was beneficial to me how they played because mm. obviously I want to score goals and stuff where yeah. I only scored three goals in about 20 appearances mm. even though I was playing I was playing most of the time you know I just thought you I, you know I, I I have to score goals to get notice and stuff yeah even though when I left we were second in the league so it was good and then when I joined Worthing it was yeah it was a really good six months like Hinch obviously known him at, when he was at Hastings and stuff he just thought to brought me in and even uh, even if I was playing as a winger, like, I was getting in and around the box. The way we played, we smashed. We like, absolutely smashed him. And then yeah. we got to the playoff semi-finals. We won the first round against Brentford. We scored as well, which was good. And then, yeah, semi-finals we lost against, to be fair, Oxford were really good. Yeah. Like, obviously, they got up as well that, that year. And then we played at the Amex and won the Sussex Senior Cup, which was an experience, yeah. like, a really good experience. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so then, as I said, I spoke to... Uh, uh, our ex-manager Paul Barnes not that long ago uh, mm-hmm. it said that, that they, they kind of put a squad together and then yeah. you, you, you and um, Adam become available um, I don't know if it was he knew Adam or he knew you or who how that happened Tony he did ask me around um, June time what, yeah. was my, what, what was I doing and obviously I I was just waiting on some clubs to mm. see what they could offer, you know, propose. So I just waited while Stoney did put me an offer. And then I just said to him, like, I basically said to him, look, just don't wait around for me. Yeah. Because, yes, I'd, I'd love to come back and help. But like I said, I, I want to play as high as I can. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want to, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna give you a promise that I might not be able to keep. Because obviously, in the meantime, he could go and look for other players yeah. in my position and stuff. So I, I just waited. And then obviously, no, nothing happened or there was something that happened in the summer but then it just kind of went all like tits out so and then I went and did pre-season with another team what to be fair I can say it was Havent Havent yeah. Waterlooville yeah yeah and then obviously they, they said I didn't do well enough so they couldn't offer me anything and which was fair enough like you know everyone's got their own opinion yeah they're not doing great now but you know <laughs> it is what it is yeah <laughs> yeah I like that I like that yeah and uh, and yeah, and then I kind of like you know, it, it, how can I say it? I, and then I did I did message him. Yeah. And we, we kind of messaged him at the same time, and I said, look, I'll uh, I'll come because you know, like I wanna I wanna play in a team where I, or in a club where I know people. Yeah. Love me, you know. I I, mm. I was there before, and I can score goals in that league and stuff. I played higher, like I played higher before, so now I know how to play even better, you know. Mm. And then. Yeah, and obviously, because I knew Barnsley before. I, I didn't know him as a person yet, but he kind of like when I had an injury, when I, when I did my first ACL, second one, he did send me a message, like a nice message mm. about obviously if I need any help, just let him know and stuff. And um, and I did play against him when he was at Dulwich as well, and I was at Darford. Yeah, and then I thought, why not coming back? Like, you know, score yeah. goals. Like, I, I would love to, obviously, I didn't get promoted with Hastings that year. Because I left the year, the year before, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a promotion, like especially to the conference south. Like I said, that would be unreal for the club and for Ooh. myself as well. Yeah, mm. well, well, right and now then, it would be. Yeah, I oh, know. <laughs> I know what. There's, there's still time, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, no, like, I know. It's, it's we'll still early in the season. Mm. Mm. And then Adam was with our club that, at that time as well, and he just, you know, we couldn't wait around because we obviously we live in a flat. We live together, me, him, and Jamie, so we had to pay. Bills. And then at that time we weren't working because obviously we just came from full time football. Mm. So I said to him, I said, Look, you, you know, you played that before. He's, he's totally different now than he was. Like new players, new managers. Mm. Like, because obviously I, I was there before him for like two weeks. I, so I, I kind of told him what he was like. I said, Look, mm. I, I reckon you're going to love it because everyone's from London. You know, Barnes is a really good coach, good guy. Mm. Like, he would, he would take care of you and stuff, which he did. Yeah. So yeah, so we we both went, and it's even better now because obviously we play together, like mm. we did the Darford as well. So it's good, yeah. it's good to play like obviously one of your best mates. Yeah, 
Okay, right then. Okay, well, we mentioned in Paul Barnes. What what do we make of the Barnes project then? Because uh, from my point of view, I mean, initially um, it started brightly, but fairly quickly. Um, where should we say the um, as a fan, David? As a fan, yeah. So uh, please tell me where, if and when I'm wrong. Uh, it seemed like some of the commitment levels went down, and uh, we're very easy to score against now. And uh, yeah. yeah, there was passengers in that team, in my opinion, and. I felt that Paul was very loyal to quite a f- to a few of those players that maybe uh, needed to maybe be maybe not be playing, should we say? Yeah. And um, yeah. And putting you out on the wing all the time, I didn't get that one as well. But um, what's your thought? No one wants to hear what I think. Go on, please. Yeah. Dav. I think you know what, like we did have a tough run of games to start with, and like obviously even like Chesson and Concord. They might seem to be like really crap team, but you know they came from the conference south as well. But they played higher last year, and, and, and for the last two years, so we did. I thought we had a good start. We mm. we didn't really we didn't really play. We never liked. I think say got into like proper gears. And I, I think even when we beat um, Cray and Concord at three yeah. 0 I, I still think we were in our best. Mm. Yeah. So I think we we never really been that level where we you know like oh we absolutely smashed them five nil or even yeah. four nil or even three nil but like you pop the shit out of them mm. but um yeah i think if we, oh, i do like barnes and i always liked him yeah he seems a like a nice guy don't yeah, get me wrong like, I just, you know he seems like he's thing, always been nice the good thing about him that he takes you as a personal like on a personal human level mm. so he's not just all about football it's all about everything in life which like you know even coaches in the Premier League now. I think there was a there was a Spurs manager. He was doing like a what is it? What was it like an in, uh, introduction uh, introduction to other coaches about like, looking at players not just football level but human level because obviously all that mental health that's happening and stuff. So yeah. that was good. But I think it was mainly the players. I think we can we sort of kind of got comfortable as well because we knew oh you know we started really well so we're gonna smash everyone now or whoever we want. Hmm. And then we sort of forgot to do the basic or, you know. That's a nice way of putting it, Davs. Yeah. Mm. And if if it weren't for you, we'd have lost the three bridges as well. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Against their youth team. What's that about? Oh, anyway. I know. That, mm. I know. <laughs> yeah, I just, again, I, I know lot, lots of people can, have been asking me this stuff, Davs. So that's why I'm asking. Don't answer if you don't want to. But yeah, like, and honestly, I, any questions? Yeah, yeah, no, cool. But happen. like, genuinely... Like Paul Barnes came across as a very nice guy. He was very nice in his interactions with people. He's still nice. I know a few of the fans are still talking with Paul uh, on because I know he ain't got a Twitter account anymore. But, yeah, uh, no. like, Instagram. Oh, don't go there. But like uh, on Instagram or something. And like you know, I mean, not all the best of the guy, but like to me, he just come across as too nice and not being able to make those decisions when they need to be made. You know, people yeah. were letting it. People were letting him down, and he carried on picking them, and it's cost him his job. To be honest, and it's yeah. I mean, I don't know what you think about that. No, I, I think you put it in the right way. Like, like I said, he's not his fault, or it was partially his fault, partially the players' fault, and he, he just obviously because he trusted the players he brought in, and that's mm. why he brought them in. And I think they kind of let 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 him down. Not just those players. I think it was everyone. Like even me, ads. Mm. Like you know, we lose and win as a team. Yeah. So. There were a few passages there, mate. I, I, um, yeah, that's, I don't know. We should move on from that. That's right. There's a new era starting again. Don't worry. Well, yeah, let's let, yeah, let's talk about that. So now, obviously, Paul Barnes is gone. Uh, wish him all the best. I think that the trigger was pulled at the right time. I feel that yeah. we've got time in the season to um, stability, turn it round, and let's see what happens. But a new era, uh, and the new era is that we know, because this is coming out Saturday, that... English Jose himself, Chris Agata's back. What do you feel about that, Dave? Obviously, you've worked with a guy before. He'd done a great job at Hastings uh, mm-hmm. when he was here previously. Um, what, what's your thoughts on Aggie coming back? I think it's exciting just because what, what he did before as well. You know, he, we were top of the league for three years in a row. Then obviously COVID and other rules like destroyed the league and stuff. But yeah, I think... I honestly believe we can still get him from we can still get promoted now, especially now coming in this early as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, as any, any lines up. I know that there's probably going to be maybe another one or two departures. Um, yeah. Any anyone anyone in that you can give us a sneak peek about that this is coming out on Saturday? So. Uh, I have no I idea. Feel. You know. Mm. Dav, you're not I, a good spy. You're not a good spy for me, Dav. <laughs> Let's talk about. Okay, and then we'll go there. Right. Okay, Dav. So Aggie coming in. In um, we we mentioned departures there. Um, Dav, are you with us for a period of time? Um, what's what's your future looking like? Well, I just want to. Like I said my aim for this season is to score between twenty five and thirty goals or more, and then obviously see where that takes me. But like I said, because now Aggie. Coming in as a manager, I'll probably want to like you know stick with him as well, unless any like obviously because the the good thing about the club that they will never stop me going anywhere like mm. they did before. So obviously, if any full time clubs come in and like you know offer me something, obviously yeah. it will be hard to say no. To of course, yeah. full time job, yeah. Short sure like career, yeah. But like I said, anywhere else, I probably wouldn't go because I did get a few offers, but I turned them down just because you know it's not it's not always like. It's just how can I say? Um, you have to just make the right choice with the right club. Yeah, you know, and it's not all about like it's not even money and stuff like that. But it's mainly like you know who you play with, who's going to be your coach, you know, the location as well. Uh, yeah, I'm well, happy at Hastings, and you know, good. Actually, it's been quite interesting for the the fans in terms of the players that are still here. Have you got any good connection with? I mean, obviously Adam, but like, have you? Yeah. Like, um, what do we think of John Ufa? Um, you know, obviously Jason, Sammy. Yeah. Um, what any any particular players that are worth a shout out, despite what's happened this season? Yeah, no. To, to be honest, you know, like I, I think everyone has been good. Has been dealing well with the situation. Like we haven't won any games in the last month. You know, we still everyone still try their best. Even Saturday, like especially, especially for those players coming from London that joined. Because Barnsley brought them in, you know, like they played with players they never played before, like and our other age, our average age was really young as well. Like we had Kian Jamal, like Freddie comes back in, you know, we had Ibi that that was his second game or first start of the club as a left back, so, and even on the bench, like I think they were all from the academy except yeah. Teo. So I think and 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 TT obviously, uh, so like like fair play to them, yeah, they they're still working hard and. Do you, do you, despite do, what's happening, do do you think they're going to stick around, um, David? I mean, yeah, uh, I think once they once they meet Aggie and see the way they co- see the way he coaches, I think yeah, you know, I, I, me and Ads did so, did say something to them already about like who's going to come in and stuff. Hmm. So we kind of warned them that like you know it's going to be it's going to turn into a good season now. You going to talk about Margate? Um, and then we're going to talk uh, fan questions quick. Okay, so yeah, right. okay, so this is Tuesday. Uh, we're calling this Monday. Uh, Tuesday we got Margate. Now Margate, we managed a decent win um, on Saturday. Like usually down the bottom half of the table, a Margate, um, but they're doing okay. Terry, from, this is just for your information now, David. We have a lady that comes on Terry from Margate, a massive, massive Margate fan. Um, she did tell me that. Um, that just as a whisper, that the their boys very dodgy around the penalty box, give away silly fouls in and around the penalty box, and just planting seeds, just planting yep. seeds there, Dab, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but a game that, you know, is it is possible to get a result from. I mean, what, what how's the camp feel? How do you feel about it, Dav? I think we can go even on Saturday, we didn't really like get into the game thinking or like, you know, we'll take a point because we started really well and obviously yeah. we were nearly at half time and then obviously two mistakes, even for myself, the second goal cost us the game, which, you know, and then they just took it. So it, 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 that's happened. Like, you can just see, I think they kind of shown why they are third in the table just because they're ruthless in and yeah. around the box. So, but like I said, at least, like, you know, we we lost, but we tried our best. You know, we yeah. we, we, we run... Everyone did their best. The fans that uh, were there said, the fans that were there said that. They also said that if we'd had a bit of luck, we might have been one or two nil up yeah, early yeah. doors. Even like a, the first 10 minutes, Kian Moyes that just came back. I, I don't know if he was on loan or, or he was just with the academy. Like he came back his first game with us. He had two chances in the first 10 minutes, you know. So, yeah. But it happens. Yeah, you know? it happens. It happens okay. yeah. Like I said, at least we, 
we did what we were supposed to do, you know. And also, yeah. we like at half time we did say to ourselves, we we want to come back on nil nil and not one nil down like we did any other games before, because at least we we know we're still in the game. Yeah, you know, even on one nil down we're still in the game, and on two nil we did have you know a few chances and stuff. But that's just football. Yeah. Well, it's important. I mean, let's say the, the fans that said they were there, that was the in terms of effort levels and that was vastly improved. Yeah, but and, uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely go Tuesday to Margate with a win like mindset. We we'll want to we we'll want to win. We want to put things back on truck. Yeah, is, is it going to be a? It's going to be David up the middle, yeah, not out on the bloody wing, yeah. <laughs> up the middle. Yeah, that's also, yeah. Well, I don't do the formation, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully back in the middle again. Just when they get mm. the like the. Whatever it is, the the little piece out, you know, we're on the map to say where everyone's playing. You just put your yeah. <laughs> That's where I am. Thank you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, okay, great stuff. Well, listen, talking of that, we're we're talking obviously DR seven. Let's talk CR seven. What what? First of all, him going from Manchester. Obviously, we haven't spoken about this. It's a shocker. I I can't stand Man U. How they, how they can treat him like that? Um, and then they're talking you're a Man U fan or not? You Me? No, I was QPR. Oh, I was, I, that's QPR. where I'm from, QPR. So I've, I've got no idea about anything at football. We're terrible. The, but yeah, um, Cristiano, first of all, him leaving Manchester and how you think he's getting on with the Saudi league. Obviously, I keep seeing all these worldies that he keeps scoring, the man's a genius. Yeah. But your thoughts? I think, you know, the thing is like, he's Saudi, I think he's doing what the MLS did a few years back then mm. when they start bringing all like, you know, Beckham... Henri, they were all going to America. Where now, and he's he's such a influence because since he's gone there, he was the first mm. player to go there. Now everyone is exactly. literally following exactly. him. And I know, and I know, it could be also the money because obviously, if a club offers you twenty five, thirty million a year, mm. and a club offers you two million in the prem, you're not gonna say no, are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but um, but the thing is that with him, it's his age as well. So I think he just wanted to be. He, he wanted to go somewhere where he's actually appreciated as well. I think yeah. that was his main thing first. And obviously, he didn't want to go to any other club. Firstly, they can't really afford his wage. So, but I'm hoping he will go back to sporting maybe next year. Yeah, Just like maybe. one more year or a few more years before he retires back to his old club. Because then he, he could still play Champions League. And, you know, Port- but the Portuguese league is probably even better than the French league right now. It's been more competitive, so... Yeah, I was going to say, there's no point going France. France is <laughs> dust. But fair that's play like the to Scottish him, league. Right? That's like the Scottish <laughs> league. Do you know what I mean? Fair play to him. He's still, yeah, he's still banging goals. You know, I know he's an easier level, but he's easier for him, though. So. It's all easy for him, man. He, the man's a genius. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, Messi was, he went to PSG at 35, when, when, where Ronaldo was in Serie A in Man U. And he's still... Banged 18 goals in the Premier. Was it 36? He's the goat. Like, man. We all know uh, he's the goat, man. Messi. <laughs> no, I, I, I love Messi, but yeah, I, I, I like think... Messi, but he ain't he ain't on the same. No, I, I don't, it's like even same mindset. I don't, I don't think he is. Right, and fan questions. Right, it's fan questions. Okay, right. Uh, Nick, uh, the lovely Nick behind the goal. Nick, uh, will you be off in December when the Bernie money runs out? No. <laughs> No. no, there you go, no, Nick. No, no, like I said, unless there's any opportunity to join a yeah. full time club, but it, but it, ha- it has to be the right club, though. So, mm. yeah, no, I mean, look, like, us as Hastings fans, we understand, you know, what I mean, it's not, yeah, you know, you get offered a full time deal, you're gonna, you know, you'd be mad, not yeah, to, yeah, okay. Uh, Keith Wareham, uh, what's your preferred position? Striker, striker. So it's coming from Keith Wareham. You never know what he's really referring to, but we won't <laughs> go there, yeah? Um, oh, oh, Howie, Howie's asked about, do you plan to play in the higher leagues again? Obviously, you've, you've answered that, haven't you? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, when the right time comes and the right club, like I said. Okay. Um, Simon Stoddard asks, are you staying? Kind of answered that. Yeah. Okay, and Matt, Matt Fortin's asked... Um, with everything going on behind the scenes, what's team morale like? And he says, I, I imagine it, it can't be easy at times. No, he's tough. Like, as I said, because most of the players came from as well. Teams that, you know, we I was winning every game last year with Warby and Darford. So coming from the, in the playoff, John was a Villariki where they had a good season. You know, Jason was in the playoff final for Town. You know, it's not really like, it's tough being in the situation. But I think everyone's still 
does their best, you know, prepare every game like we want to win them. So I think, like I said, once Agi introduce himself to the players, I think there will be a big boost to all the players as well, especially the ones they've been with him before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last question. Uh, ben Bennett asks, uh, what, what do you make of the new owners? Well, they obviously Dean, Ben and Glyn, they've been around the club for years. And obviously Ben, ex-Wimbledon um, coach, Dean, professional football player, Glyn, was a coach at Hastings and other clubs as well. So, yeah, I think nothing changes for them. Like, as well, like, you know, the plan is always the same, which is getting promoted or, you know, getting to the playoff and try and do something. So, yeah. All right, and Dav, so I, I want to know, how many get in Tuesday and then how many get in Saturday? So, Tuesday? I don't think I am off for Saturday, though, because I got five yellows. Oh, okay. So, well, you're not, you're not on Tuesday, but you're... No, I, I'm on Tuesday. You're on Tuesday. I can't play Saturday. I think. That's I extra know. goals you got to get tomorrow then. Yeah, so, I, 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 yeah. minimum a hat trick. Minimum. I know. Minimum. The face things fans expect. No, no. Take care, Dav. Thank you for your time. You too, Chris. And no, see you, you Tuesday. You yeah. No, yes. you're welcome, mate. Perfect. Take care.